Hello folks, my name is Malik Nejat and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to present another tutorial about how to execute transform codes by GitLab CI CD. Before that, I highly recommend you to watch my last two videos about how to manage GitLab repos by Trawform and how to use GitLab as HTTP backend to record TF state files. They will help you to follow these videos more efficiently. The links of the mentioned tutorials are pinned on top of this video. In this tutorial, I will speak about what is GitLab pipelines and what are jobs and stages, and also we'll build CI-CD pipelines with starting from basic to run transform codes automatically. During this tutorial, I will show you how to start with basic pipelines and step-by-step step going forward to automate deploy or transform codes. If I want to use another word for CI-CD in simple language, I would say automation. If you have any sense about this process at the beginning, no need to be worried about it. I will use of very simple words and steps to be understandable. So, with skills acquired in this video, not only you can manage GitLab repos automatically by Traform, but also you can use GitLab CI for whatever you want. Finally, I would recommend if you like this video, add your feedback in the comment section. Let's start. At first, we need to know what is CI CD. Simple language CI CD tools can help a team to automate their development, deployment, and testing. For example, we have Trawform codes for a project and we need to deploy them on infrastructure. So we should manually run Trawform init, Trawform plan, and Trawform apply to deploy them on our infrastructure. So CI-CD tool will help us to run them automatically. GitLab as a DevOps platform has CI-CD pipelines. When you commit a new code in the GitLab repo, GitLab will automatically execute a CI-CD pipelines that you have configured for your project. There are many CI-CD tools available in market like Jenkins, but today our focus is on GitLab CI-CD. One of the advantage of GitLab CI-CD is our code also located on the same GitLab repository. Now we should know how this pipeline config file runs on GitLab server. Answer to this question lead us to GitLab runner. Here we have GitLab server that keeps our codes and also CI CD pipeline config file. So, for run and execute or CI CD file, need separate machine that are connected to our GitLab server called GitLab Runner. So, as a simple language, in a simple word, if our project want to be run automatically on GitLab server, we need another machine that has GitLab runner. Also, we need to have a brief look at CI-CD terminology. In pipeline, 
we have jobs what is job job is the smallest unit to run in GitLab CI CD it is often called a build step for example transform init transform plan transform apply each one is a job beside jobs we have another terminology that called stages in each stage we have one or some jobs that will run for example in the stage one maybe we have transform in it in stage two we have transform plan in stage three we have transform apply as you see the stages will run one after each other if the stage one fail, the second stage cannot be run because they are serial, they are not parallel. And maybe we have some jobs parallel in one stages like here, test job one and job two. They can be run in parallel. So at the moment, we know what is pipeline, what is job, what is stages. Still, maybe you have no sense with them. But just understand this one like we have a transform code. We want to run transform init, transform plan, and transform apply. We have three steps. Each step is one stage. Okay? Theoric is enough. It is better to go in with practical. So this question come to our mind. How can we create a GitLab CI CD pipeline? For answer to this question, let's go to Google and going to GitLab documentation and find the answer. In Google, we type how to create GitLab CI CD pipeline. As you see here from the GitLab documentation, there is a tutorial. Create and run your first GitLab CI CD pipeline. We need some prerequisite. A project in GitLab that you would like to use CI CD. Yes, we have. We have transform code. In last video, we did manually. And now we want to do it automatically. So, and the maintainer or owner rule for the project. It means you should be administrator or something like that. Okay, so we have this prerequisite. So going to the next one. The next step, as I told you earlier, to run and execute CI CD pipelines, GitLab need separate machine that's called GitLab runner. So as you see here, the first item, ensure you have runners available. And after that, we need to create a file that called .gitlab-ci.yaml. All the configuration for CI CD is in the YAML file called .gitlab-ci.yaml. As you know, YAML is a simple language based on key value i will show you a step by step so at first we should have gitlab runner let's back here at the end of the left side on setting click on ci cd here there is an item called runner we expand it here in the runner section there is description about the runners after we install our gitlab runner we should register that on GitLab server because GitLab server should know who is GitLab runner and then can send it the jobs to be executed. For register GitLab runner on GitLab server, there are three types of registration, shared runners, specific runners, and group runners. As you see from the shared runner, it's a runners that share between all the projects. You can register your GitLab runner as a shared runner and all the project can be executed on this runner. 
In the other hand, we have a specific runner. For example, you have a project like a Traform project and you need a runner that can run jobs like Traform init, Traform plan, and Traform apply and something like that. It is better to register that as a specific runner and the Traform project can use that Git runner. Also, there is another one that called group runner. At the moment, I don't want to speak about that and our focus is on a specific runner. Let's go to install GitLab runner and after that, we will register that as a specific runner. So for installing a GitLab runner, open this one in another tab. As you see here, GitLab runner can be installed and used on Linux, Mac OS, FreeBSD, Windows in all operating system. So how to install it? We want to install it on Linux. Just select this one. So here uh, we can download and install it. Going here for the Linux 64. Let's copy this one and going to install it. I have another Linux machine. Nothing installed on it. So just download this one. It's done. Let's check it here. Yeah, nothing here. As you see, it is downloaded here. Let's copy this one. LS, this path. Yeah, as you see, it is here. So let's go in here. It's here. Let's continue by the documentation on GitLab website. The second step, get it permission to execute. Copy. Next step, this one user at GitLab runner install and run as a service copy back here so in installed and need to start it so check system CTO status GitLab runner it is active and running and also it is enabled let's clean the screen as you see here, our GitLab runner is ready to use. Back to documentation. So the GitLab runner installed. As you remember, I told you we have shared GitLab runner and a specific GitLab runner. So it's back to GitLab server. So let's go in to use a specific runner. We need to register the runner with this URL and this registration token. How? To register GitLab runner on GitLab server as a specific runner. Okay, friends, let's register GitLab runner. We have installed our GitLab runner, and at the moment, we need to register that on GitLab server. For registration, let's check documentation. In GitLab documentation, we have registering runner as you see on the right it's for linux mac os windows and every operating system you need you can use them for registration let's go into linux as you see here to register a runner on the linux run the following command copy this one and back to terminal before registration let's check GitLab runner version, GitLab runner version. It's 15.6.1. So let's use this command for registration. As you see here, there is a warning. The register command has been deprecated in GitLab runner 15.6 and will be replaced with deploy. In the next version of GitLab runner, this command will be deprecated and deploy will be replaced that but at the moment we are using the latest version it is 15.6 so we are using the gitlab runner register it asks enter the gitlab instance url if we back and check gitlab runner section in gitlab server if you check GitLab runner section here, you will see the URL and authentication token. And all we have to do is just copy this information and paste them on GitLab runner terminal. So let's copy this one 
and back to terminal and paste it here. Or token also need to copy from that page and back to terminal, paste it here. Description, you can select every name you want, but it is better use a name based on your project that can be easily determined if you have some runners. Here, I gonna use Traform. We can change it later in GitLab runner configuration. Let's enter. For the tag, I should tell you that tag is a parameter that we can use in CI CD jobs. And when a runner see this tag on a job, then can take care of it. And in terminal, I will show you how to use it later. But no, I leave it as is and just enter. Enter optional maintenance note, so leave it as is. The first section succeed. At the moment, it asks about the executor. There are multiple ways on how GitLab Runner can handle jobs. One of the easiest way is to use Docker container or using shell. Here, I'm going to use Docker image and a good point here is independent from the GitLab Runner machine operating system. So let's using Docker. For the others, there are a lot of video on YouTube, you can check them. But for our project, we are using Docker and you will see why I use that. Let's click enter. Here it asks for Docker image. By default, it will use Ruby. But for a starting, I gonna use Alpine. But for a starting, I gonna use Alpine image. That is very light Linux image and later we will change it based on our jobs in GitLab runner configuration. Let's enter. As you see here, runner register successfully. Let's back to GitLab server. If we refresh this page, as you see here, the trial form one register here. This is the name of the GitLab runner that we have already entered on registration. So for wrap up, I need to tell you after the change committed on GitLab server, it will automatically trigger GitLab runner and GitLab runner will bring up a Docker machine and will execute the jobs we define in GitLab CI YAML file. And after job is done, the Docker machine will be destroyed and disappear. I hope it is clear now why I selected Docker Executor for GitLab Runner. Now at the moment our GitLab Runner is registered and ready and we can go forward to next step and start with CICD pipeline jobs. Dear good friends, here we arrive at the end of part one of this video and I will come back soon with the next part.